If you are watching this less than one week after this video has come up, we have a giveaway on our channel right now. Check the link in the description for more info. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and we're back with the Breakthrough Reset. Now, if you're already doing it, there is a chance that you're taking some unnecessary risks. If you're not doing it yet, we'll get into some of the reasons why you may not want to start doing it. But we're still going to uh, start by demonstrating how you do it. Um, and I guess I want to say here too, we may not be the first, but as always, we've taken the time to test it out a bit, and there are definitely some huge dangers. Um, in general, we recommend that you don't use this glitch unless you completely understand what's happening, and you understand all the potential problems that we talk about at the end. Yeah. And even if you don't plan on doing this glitch, stick around for the discussion after, because there are some problems that you could run into even if you're not doing a glitch, but we figured those out but with all their testing. All right. And this is how you're going to want to do it. So the first step is to sign in to your WBID. Yeah, just check to make sure. I mean, you might already be signed in. That doesn't matter. But we're just going to be showing you guys signing in from fresh just for the purposes of this video. And for anybody wondering, this actually is our, our password. So just make sure that you enter it exactly this way when you're trying to, trying to take our account. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If... if laughing isn't really obvious clue then I don't know what else to tell you all right so we're logged in come on let's log in there we go and uh, enter breakthrough that's step two yeah and so you can see when we go in that it's nine hours until we could do okay. breakthrough next so now we need to disconnect from the internet and in this case it's turning off Wi-Fi we we'll come back in justice. All right, so now we can actually enter breakthrough. It did not give us the no internet connection error. And if, it, if that's what you're getting, the most likely reason is because you didn't make sure you're logged into your WBID. Yeah. Um, and that's the most important thing. If it doesn't fix it, then starting in justice from a clean start can also help. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change the date to time when the cool down period is over. Mm -hmm. um, some people do this step at the same time as disconnect from the, from the internet. We pref prefer to do this after checking in justice since it saves time in case we get the error message. And there we go, you can go back in, go back into Breakthrough. Yeah. So really important point though, once you're into Breakthrough without an internet connection, you can change the date as much as you want. You just have to get that first step in, and at this point, unless you restart the game or you reconnect the internet, you're not gonna be getting that connection error message. Yeah, so we can really quick. So Breakthrough's reset, um, and pretty simple, right? Except, all right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly play through, break through, and we're just going to do it at super speed to get through the whole thing, just to show you that we're actually legitimately playing it. And we'll show you what happens right at the end. All right, so we'll do this at 16 times speed. Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, Aries and Batgirl is actually a really good team. The old school, super special, knock them out fast team with not much chance of losing. All right, so we've got... Our cooldown clock again is nine hours again because we're still in the future. Uh, now, if at some point you need to adjust the calendar back to today, which you will have to eventually, take a look at the cooldown. It's gonna show a time 24 hours after whenever you were in, so 33 hours. Yeah, which is a huge amount of time to So, work. how do you fix this? Well, that's the next step that most people are not doing. So, we need to first go back into the future again to unlock breakthrough. We need to get back into the breakthrough screen. Once you've unlocked breakthrough, you bring your calendar back to today. So, all right, so now we're back into breakthrough. Yeah. We have set the team, so we've locked in our progress. And actually, we got to get rid of these because we're in the future and we're, we've unlocked the each day's holiday pack. Holiday pack. But there we go. So we can go back into breakthrough mode now that we've unlocked it. We're going to go into our settings and bring us back to today. We went an extra day in the future to unlock it. Now we're going to actually reset the clock so it'll be back to normal. There we go. Okay. And we'll select the team. But notice the requirement, it shows Wonder Woman, but it's doing the check for us. And it's checking, well, today's requirement is actually Bane, not Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was from two days now. Bane is for, for the current. So this is your friend. The system, the injustice checking at this point before you set your team is your last fail safe. Yeah, because if you do 
things wrong somehow, right? It will not check with you after this that you have a team that actually has the right people in it. And why does that matter? This is why it matters. All right, so now you can see our clock is back to normal and we're in today. Now we're going to show you a clip from another account. Okay, so here we are in the account now. The call is coming from inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> and we can we can go ahead and go into right, breakthrough. So see, the requirement says Wonder Woman is required. There's no Wonder Woman on the team. Everybody's grayed out. You can't actually get past this. Yeah. Um, if you finish the final fight with Ares and you can't meet the requirement, this is a permanent lockout from breakthrough. And here's the key. This can happen even if you don't do this glitch. If the clock rolls over between the time you start breakthrough and the time you finish, you could be screwed Again, even if you don't do this glitch. So don't start a uh, breakthrough anywhere close to the end of the event. Yeah, really, you want to give yourself like a, a good hour to do it. Uh, an amount of time that you know, even if you get distracted and have to do something else, you'll be able to come back in time. Okay. All right, so the, there's one other obvious thing that the other people who've been talking about the breakthrough glitch are not showing you. And the key to this is what I mentioned earlier about how once you've gotten into breakthrough without an internet connection, internet connection, you can go forwards and backwards in time as much as you want. So the key is that once you have the right breakthrough event for the character that you want, you can just do it over and over again until you max unlock the card that you want. Yeah, and we say unlock and not promote because we're being very specific about our language. It doesn't actually give you the promotion. It doesn't give you the card. It gives you the ability to promote. Right. Permission. Yeah. And so if you don't have the copies in hand, then you'll either pay for a copy if that character is unlocked in your store, or if it's not unlocked, then you'll need to wait until you get another copy from a pack. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is we're doing a sped up demonstration with Batgirl. So we're changing the date. If you were paying attention, the requirement wasn't Batgirl. We're changing the date to a day that we knew backer was a requirement. It doesn't actually say that. It still says Wonder Woman. All right, so that was the wrong date. That's Bane. So we're going to move the date around. I think it was close to that. So this is actually going to be key. One is paying attention to what days the promotions were set at. Yeah, and you can actually, I don't know, write that down somewhere as they pass, and then afterwards we'll kind of have a compendium, uh, a lookup table of what day to go to for what character you want. All right, so we're back in, and now it says Wonder Woman. So now we don't get the message, because this is this is critical. This is the only step where the game checks to make sure that you've met the requirements, because if you go in and you finish the Ares fight, right, like we said, you do not want to screw yourself over and lock yourself out of breakthrough permanently. So this we're just going to speed this up a bit and get yeah. through the back row fight, um, and so that we can do that fight over and over again. Oh my god, it's like Alvin and Chipmunks fighting. Okay, um, I guess we can talk about some of the other things too. We're going to see it eventually. Uh, one other thing that I, I want to talk about. After all that explaining how to do it, how to do it safely, and not screw up your account, I'm going to generally recommend that you don't do this glitch. Mm -hmm. It's now trivially easy based on uh, knowing the schedule which breakthrough events we're running to know who has a legitimate level 60, elite 10 and who had to cheat for it Yeah. so it wouldn't surprise me if there are people playing against you reporting you if you have uh, an elite 10 character and they can check your account and see if there's something wrong and then they can just suspend your account yeah, for sure. You don't. It's not that they would necessarily do an auto ban. It's that you never want to do anything that might trigger somebody actually reporting you. And right. having an elite ten is definitely something that somebody could report you for. Yeah. So, all right, then you're gonna say, what's the point of this glitch? We did say generally don't do. It. We don't say never do it. You can use it to get caught up. It, it, the thing is, you're no longer forced to play every day. You can play when you want, as long as someone is keeping track of the different days' events, and yeah. that lets you figure out the maximum of each breakthrough promotion you can have. And then you play accordingly. Yeah, so if you uh, go on vacation for a month or something, and then you come back, you can Elite 10 some characters. Okay, one other thing to know about Breakthrough, even if you don't actually do the promotion, it keeps track for you who has the permissions. So you notice that Batgirl uh, was grayed out, but Cassandra Kane Batgirl was not grayed out. So she, even though they're both left at Elite 7, 
it's keeping track and it recognizes that Batgirl is not eligible for the promotion at the end when you finish the fight. Yeah. So, all right, so I want to just maybe recap some of the key points, right? Never, never, ever, ever, never change your calendar once you've passed the team selection page. That's the biggest danger of getting screwed. Um, if you do that and you happen to be in the selection, past the selection page and you changed it, exit breakthrough before you beat Aries. If you're not 100% sure, exit breakthrough before you beat Aries. Really, that's it. Like, if there's even a chance, don't do it. If you make a mistake, you're locked out of breakthrough permanently. I can't say that enough. And that's, uh, that'd just be awful. Right, right, right. Um, second thing is, the most common reason for the no connection message is that you forgot to make sure you're logged into your WBID before uh, starting the, the whole process. Yeah. And I guess the last thing is, don't forget to reset your breakthrough cooldown clock after you're finished playing and do it absolutely before you reconnect to the internet. Yeah, just to be as safe as possible. Right. Like I said, it's a potential risk. We don't know what's going to happen or whether they're going to do anything about it, but it's it's just too dangerous to to try. Yeah. So there we go. We're just going to finish up with this video here on our second run through breakthrough. And what you'll see is that um, at the end of it, when we try to do the breakthrough event again with Batgirl, it'll let us know that they're all maxed out, that there's nobody eligible to do it with. So, all right, so th this is why this team is so good, right? A lot of times, you run in uh, multiplayer, you run into teams that have uh, special dodgers. It doesn't happen here. So the, the classic... Aries with the unblockable special 2, and then back row, that's an amazing... Um, so you can see, you can't do back row, but we could do Cass Cassandra came back row. So there we go, we'll try one more time, and we'll get that error message from Breakthrough letting us know. So we're going to the future again to unlock it, we come back in, and then we're going to bring it back to the date when back row was a challenge. Or the Breakthrough event, I mean. Yeah. So it lets us... But see, it says back row, we can't do it because they're all max permission unlocked. For promotion. So they all can't be promoted to Elite 10, which means that we don't have anybody with the right stuff. So that this game is saving you from screwing yourself. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda.